welcome to the kitchen. Today we're just gonna make a quick chicken curry salad using a curry powder blend and a rotisserie chicken. So this is gonna be a very quick thing. This is, people are always asking me, what can I make quickly? And obviously you use a rotisserie chicken, so the chicken's already cooked. We're just gonna take the breast meat off of it and then we'll chop it up and throw whatever stuff we have in the refrigerator in with it. So I'm gonna use our curry powder. We've got mayonnaise. I think I have an apple and we're gonna get some raisins, celery, carrots, and it's gonna taste absolutely wonderful. So let me get this going. Please click like and subscribe so we can keep bringing you more recipes. For the chicken salad, I just wanna use the breast meat. So I'm just gonna slice here and here and remove the breast. We can either eat the drumsticks separately, the wings, and then save the carcass for our chicken stock for another occasion. All right, so we wanna remove the breast and remove the skin from the breast. So I've already taken off the wings and the drumsticks. And basically what you just wanna do is find where the breastbone is and slide your knife down along it and release this piece. Like so. And then discard the skin. Now we're gonna make this chicken salad more as a, maybe on top of some toast or like an appetizer. So I want really small pieces of chicken. So I'm gonna cut these into strips. And then I'm gonna cut the strips into smaller pieces to go into our chicken salad, like so. Now there's also still a lot of meat on the carcass. So you do, so here's the other wing. So we just wanna remove that and we can save that for some other dish. Um, but there is a lot of meat here. So you do wanna pick off all that meat. Okay, so to make sure you don't waste it, pick it off. But you are gonna save the carcass for your stock. So if you wanna make some chicken soup later on, freeze this and whenever you wanna make your soup, use your carcass to make some fresh chicken stock. And the reason I'm recommending you doing this is because I was just in the grocery store today and a liter container of chicken stock is now up to 450. So why not just make it yourself using your leftover rotisserie chicken carcass? Here's all of our chicken nicely cut up and we're gonna add to it, I have this beautiful Macintosh apple. We're gonna cut that into small dice, raisins, coconut, mayonnaise, celery, our curry powder, and then um, I'm gonna use scallions in this instead of onions. These are a little milder than a white onion, so I want to use these up and get everything in our bowl, and then I'll tell you how much mayonnaise we're gonna add and how much curry powder. Here we have our mise en place. Everything's been cut into small dice, and this is one apple. These are four scallions, four stalks of celery, half a cup of coconut, half a cup of raisins. Now the raisins, even though it was an open box, they're still a bit dried out and I prefer my raisins to be nice and plump. So we are going to do what's called rehydrating. I put them in a microwave safe, usually a measuring cup, cover it with water and then put it in the microwave for two minutes, drain it and blot it dry with a paper towel and that will re-plump them, rehydrate. So I have a half a cup of mayonnaise and we're gonna add one teaspoon of this curry powder. I'm not gonna use a lot of mayonnaise because I prefer a lower fat. I'd rather use real Hellman's mayonnaise instead of like low fat Hellman's Joe mayonnaise and just use less of it than to actually change the flavor of it and use the fat-free or the low fat mayonnaise. So if, however, you prefer, you could use three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise or even one whole cup of mayonnaise and then increase the curry powder accordingly. All right, so we have our curry mayonnaise, and I find it best to mix together the chicken and the mayonnaise first, and then add the other things to our salad. So I'm just gonna stir this all together. our apples, our scallions, and our celery. I'm gonna stir it all together. And 
lastly, our raisins. Here they are. Here's our beautiful chicken curry salad. I served it on a bed of spinach, and then these are our celery tops, just for a little garnish, and I sprinkled it also with a little dusting of the curry powder. I hope you enjoy this and make it at home. It's quick and easy and a great way to use up a, a rotisserie chicken. Make your life fast and simple. Use something that is already pre-cooked from the grocery store to make something very nice and elaborate and tasting delicious. So enjoy everybody, take care, bye. For more recipes, please click like and subscribe to Chef Victoria Love's YouTube channel and have fun in the kitchen. Thank you.